So what were some of the results? We increased our batting average from about the 30 to 40 percent we were experiencing to 65 percent by testing online. Even more impressive, I think, is we were 80 percent accurate in picking the winners. Very, very good numbers. We identified products which can bear price increases or items that we don't need to promote. Uh, we've also identified products uh, uh, with which customers like but didn't want to pay as much for it. So that challenged us to make some design changes to reduce the cost of the uh, particular item. And we identified products which had negative sentiment but high value scores which performed very well or vice versa. So what's been the value to Hellsberg? We've increased our batting average from 35% to about 65%. That's worth over $7 million a year in gross margin dollars. We're able to double the number of winners. And at the cost of online, this online testing solution is paid for with a 2% increase in batting average. So uh, this, the studying this for the past year tells me that we have a home run here. So pretty excited about the technology. So I'd like to run through a few actual examples so you can see what, uh, uh, what we saw. This is an example of a, one of the top performers that we had. You can see that the value score uh, that was achieved was a nine, which is very high. Uh, the MSRP, our price was at 44.99. The actual model price came in higher than that at 45.66. What's very interesting here is you can see that the positive sentiment was only 14%. It had a 71% negative sentiment. So in our old way of, of going about testing, we would have saw that 71% negative sentiment and said, we're not buying this. Well, it's, it's more than just the sentiment, and that's the secret sauce that, that, that uh, is in this technology. It really places a, a high value on how the customers value the particular product. So here we have an example of a low performer. Uh, in this case, the value score was a four. Uh, the model, uh, the MSRP on this item is $6,500. The model price came back at about $3,900, so $2,500 less than the model price, than the MSRP, excuse me. But here you look at very high positive sentiment. So again, our old way of doing things, we would have, we would have bought this based on the sentiment. Well, what it tells us is the customers really like the look of this, but they don't want to pay $6,500 for this. So we, what we would do is we would go back and we can, we can build the, the, the look and feel of this ring for about $4,000. You know, obviously, it wouldn't be at a quarter and a carat. We'd bring it down. We'd do some things to uh, uh, re-engineer re it. And we know that if we get to about the $4,000 price point, it's, it's going to be a winner. 